All right, well, here we go. But hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another home tour. Today, I'm over in Claremont, which is my hometown. I'm over in this neighborhood called Crestview by Taylor Morrison, which is right off of Hancock Road over here. It is a gated community. We've got low HOA, no CDD, great value in here. Floor plans starting from the low 300s, around 1,500 square feet, all the way up to uh, the low 400s with around 3,400 square feet. So a lot of opportunities and a lot of options available in this neighborhood over here. We're about, let's see, 30 minutes away from downtown Orlando. I'm talking Amway Center downtown. About 35, 40 minutes from Epcot or you know, say Animal Kingdom. So Disney's pretty close by as well too. We've got all your major shopping right next door here. We've got Publix that corner. We've got a Publix over in that corner. We've got a Super Target. We've got a Walmart. We've got the Epic Theater movie theaters over here as well too. Your Olive Gardens, your Red Lobster, basically all the major uh, restaurants that you'll need within five, 10 minutes from here. Also. A lot of you guys probably don't know this, but Claremont is apparently going to be getting a Costco pretty soon, which is huge. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, then you've probably seen when I released that, that I shared that news article over there. But that's going to be huge for Claremont over here. I can't believe it. We're going to get our own Costco. We already have our own BJ's, which is actually five minutes down the road from here as well, too. But this is a great opportunity. This is a great location. I think you guys, if you're looking in Claremont, this has to be on your radar. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys two model homes that we have here. We have the St. Thomas over here, which is a single story, three bedroom, two bath with a formal dining room and a study. So this is a great option for a lot of people. I know that's been a popular request. I've also got a two story over here, the Anastasia model. That one's a four bedroom, three bath. I think this one's around 2,500 square feet. Um, but yeah, I think you guys are gonna like both of these models. They show really well. This is great, uh, a great way to get an idea of some of the design finishes that you can get with Taylor Morrison. They do an amazing job when it comes to their design and their interior decorating. So keep in mind, majority of the stuff you see here are gonna be upgrades, but it's a good way to get an idea of how, what you can do to your home. And of course, when you are thinking of purchasing here, you might need a little bit of an advice as you know where to spend your, your dollars, because sometimes you don't wanna overspend because sometimes you won't, you won't get that back. But anyways, let me go ahead and take you guys through the St. Thomas model. Before I do though, I gotta remind you guys to go ahead, you gotta smash that like button for me. Hit it one time, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss any of these new uploads, any new home tours or whatever. And of course, if you are thinking of buying a home in Central Florida, then my team and I would love to help you guys find the perfect home for a fair price and help make this process as seamless as possible. So you can find our contact information down below. Feel free to reach out at any point in time. But until then, let me go ahead and take you guys through here. All right, so now that I'm sweating, sweating up a storm, wipe my forehead a little bit. But anyway, so okay, so St. Thomas over here, like I was saying, this here, it's a three bedroom, two bath with a formal dining room, as well a study. This model here shows really well. It's about 2,055 square feet, single story. Obviously, this is the two car garage that they're currently using as the sales office. But as we enter over here, you'll notice the entrance is very spacious. It's not cramped, it's not a narrow, you know, entranceway. This is an upgraded nine foot door. You get an eight foot door that's standard. And look at this entrance here. Yeah, wow. So one of the first things I notice as soon as you come into this entrance here, you notice how spacious the floor plan is. You can see all the way down to the back of the home, which makes it show really nice. You can see the hallways, the space between them, nice and spaced out so it doesn't feel cramped. So that alone right there just automatically makes the home feel bigger than what it actually is. So like I was saying, we've got your separate formal dining, which is a popular request these days. And we've got your study over here. So no compromises. You've got everything that you need. Good size uh, study here as well too. Love the double French doors. Love the upgraded height of the doors as well too. Love the tray ceiling as well too. Honestly, if you're looking to build a nice luxurious looking home, the trays are one of those structural options that I would highly recommend that you go get from the builder because I mean, yeah, to do that afterwards is, is pretty difficult. So 
But yeah, very good size study over here. You can use this space here for kids to do their homework. Maybe you work from home and you wanna just be secluded away from all the main living space. That's one of the things I like over here. So if noise is happening over in the living room over here, you can still sit over here and do your work. So very nice. Now your formal dining here is pretty spacious as well too. Oh, notice the panelings on this wall. I love this. Now this may or may not be an option for the builder. I think that's actually an interior decorator item, uh, but that's something we can actually go over when we sit down with Taylor to go over the build of your home. So but anyways, that is a nice touch. So take notes. If you, if this is something you actually wanted to do, you can get someone coming afterwards and set that up for you. But yeah, that is, it's a nice design. I love the fact that they have these little two cutouts right here on this wall here to put some nice photos or mirrors or it just honestly the, the greeting when as soon as you come in this home it just it just feels so inviting and spacious and yeah it, it's a lovely floor plan i must say notice how they have the ceilings here higher than over here as well too and you'll notice some vaulted ceilings here which is you don't see very often these days but anyways let's let's keep it moving oh this this area right here is one of my favorites this is the rotunda is what they call it and as you can see obviously it's a circle, but this is kind of like the main, it's probably the center of the home actually. This is the main center where you can get, basically get to the other two bedrooms and the secondary bathroom. You've got your casual dining, formal dining, and yeah, I like this. And I like how they did the tray design up there with the nice little wood as well too. Lovely chandelier. Like I said, Taylor Morrison, they do a very good job decorating their models. So this one shows really well. I'll bring you guys around the kitchen a little bit. Let's go through here. So your living space and notice the vaulted ceilings. You don't see very many new construction homes with these vaulted ceilings anymore. So very nice touch. It opens up the space tremendously. I love it. I absolutely do. I love this layout. It's nice and cozy, but it still gives you every single thing that you need. So now in this neighborhood, you do get granite countertops as standard and you do get 42 inch cabinets. However, it is not this color and that is actually quartz countertops. This is an upgrade. The gourmet kitchen here, double oven, that is an upgrade as well too. But one thing I do wanna point out for a lot of you guys, this is a gas community. This is an upgrade for the gourmet kitchen that gives you the, the, the vented hood as well too. That's all an upgrade, but you can definitely do it in this neighborhood. That's been a popular request. Gas community over here in Claremont. I'm telling you, you're not gonna find very much new construction homes with gas, so our options are kind of limited if that's an absolute must have. So here's your pantry. Now I know you're probably saying, it's like, hmm, that might be a little small, but to be honest with you, it really isn't. You've got quite a bit of cabinet space. So honestly, you really wouldn't run out of storage space here. So I love how they have this little built-in um, area here, the little built-in bench. It even has some nice cabinet space over here for storage. Look at that. Oh, remind me to show you the secret. We got a little secret in this island over here on this little counter over here. Let me show you guys that in a bit, but nice, cozy, casual dining section. we got your formal dining right over there. So if you do have a big entertainment dinner, let's say Thanksgiving, you can fit a lot of people over there and you can fit them over here as well too. And you're still close to the kitchen and everyone still feels integrated with, you know, the entertainment. So lovely kitchen, living space, formal dining, very nice options here. I love the backsplash that they did here as well too. Very nice touch. Um, I know that's probably a little pricey here. You could always do it afterwards, but yeah, this, the way they designed this home, very nice. Love the pendants as well too. This home already pre-wired for this, the speakers and all that stuff, but very nice. So now let me take you guys back here. Now, obviously this home here has a pool and check this out. One of the things I love about Taylor Morrison is that, you know it, you know it, you know it. Oh, does it stop right? Oh, no, no, no. We go all the way. That's right. One of my favorite options is the pocket slider. Like it's just absolute must have if you have, if you like to entertain and you like to, let's say barbecue or you just like this, this space here, it just makes sense completely opens up the house, makes it feel, you integrate the outdoor with the indoor space. Obviously your AC is probably gonna be going to waste over here, so maybe you might wanna do it around the cool season. But yeah, we've got a nice lovely pool on this model here. You guys can obviously see with the lot sizes that we have in this neighborhood, you could definitely fit a good size pool. This is a really nice one. 
keep in mind this pool here uh, is probably going to run you i'm not sure what the cost of a, this actual pool here but i know average prices for pools that i've been getting quotes from for some clients has been around like 60 to 70k for a basic pool and keep in mind if you're building a new home and you want to have the pool included keep in mind that the builders are actually going to require at least 50 percent of whatever the cost of the pool is up front and then they might let you finance the other 50 percent so keep that in mind if a pool is an absolute must have if it is a must have then there's ways to do it but you know there might be some other opportunities to to get around that but anyways let's get back to this tour love this open space to me close this back so i don't waste their their ac but and this was probably the first set of sliders that i have not had issues with you guys have been following me and you know how much problems i have with these sliders but very good all right so this is actually the master bedroom but i'm not going to show you that just yet i'm going to take you to the other bedrooms and then we're going to save the master for last but get your kitchen and back down this hallway and like i said it's just spacious back into the rotunda and all right let's check out this side of the home so we got your secondary bathroom over here uh this is actually the korean korean the solid surface that comes standard i believe got a nice tile in the shower and check out the nice mosaic tile i like it very nice got a decent sized bedroom over here we got i call it the einstein room because yeah i don't know if you guys know this song but if you watch fresh prince of bel-air then you probably know this song hydrogen helium lithium video uh, c in zinc i can't remember the exact song but yeah it's hilarious one of my favorite shows but yeah very spacious size room i believe it's like 11 by 10 are the room sizes here i uh, check the description below i'll have more detailed information of most updated pricing i have a floor plan info and i'll have all like the sizes of the rooms and stuff like that so this is obviously your laundry room they have the nice mosaic tile here and obviously through those doors are the garage, but they're using it as a sales office. Notice how they have the interior doors upgraded in this home. And you might not notice it right off the bat, but honestly, it makes a huge difference when it comes to the flow and feel of the house. So it's one of those structural upgrades that I would actually recommend that you do if you can do it. It just, it just helps a lot. Just trust me, when you actually go into a home with this versus a home that doesn't have it, you just, you don't know why it is that the other home will feel smaller, but yeah, just trust me, just, just do that. That's one of those upgrades that if you can do it, then do it. Anyways, this is actually the classic included finishes. This is actually the included granite countertops that come standard. These are the cabinets. That's the, the paint and this, these are the tile as well as the carpets. That's standard. So if you just pick the floor plan by itself and then pick the lot, which is the land, and you didn't do any upgrades, any design upgrades or anything, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Now, of course, they have packages that you can upgrade to. Classic collection, which gives you upgraded white cabinets. You've got quartz, the uh, color of the carpets actually change and the tiling change as well too. And then you can build upon this package if you'd like as well too. And they've also got another one, which is white cabinets and a little bit of different, you know, uh, backsplash and stuff like that, different colors and stuff like that. And then, of course, different cabinet style and this encore. And then the, the overture gives you this gray cabinet and different backsplash and stuff like that. So depending on kind of what your design preference is, there's an option for you. If you don't like any of these here, there's actually an, an option for you to individually uh you know pick and choose depending on the neighborhood actually not all neighborhoods do that but yeah but yeah once again this is the 11 by 2 room we've got standard size closet in both these secondary rooms so um nothing crazy but yeah spacious hallway here as well too nowhere in this room in, the, in this house does it ever feels cramped so that's one thing and yeah man i just love this rotunda rotunda area here just right here in the middle and you just you can just know what's going on everywhere in the house where do we go it's like a roundabout <laughs> but yeah oh and tell me tell me this art piece here is not nice it looks like a little burnt tree or like charcoal but it's not but i don't know it looks nice but yeah anyways let me take you guys to the main attraction the breadwinner the person that's probably going to buy this home let me show you your master bedroom check it out so one thing you'll notice, we've got a lovely set of windows letting in a lot of natural light. That'd be lovely to wake up to. They did the tray ceiling upgrade here with the crown molding. Got the nice four can lighting in there as well too. 
As you can see, they also did the pre-wire for the speakers. So you can do a whole home entertainment center built out in this entire home. So that's a good option if you're a techie and you wanna have that stuff done, then yeah, you can get it done over here. And oh, by the way, let me know what you guys think about these flooring over here. This is hardwood flooring, but it's, uh, it's one of the obviously top of the upgrades, but it's, it's one of the nicer floorings. I like this color and it goes well with the light colored tile in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think. Anyways, another great shower. We've got a nice shower rain head over here. Your little bench as well too. Yeah, man, this is, this is where I, I would spend a lot of my time because I love to think in the shower. Okay, let me show you the water closet over here. Excluded, no, not too bad. Nice upgraded quartz in the gray cabinets. A lot of people like this theme, or if I even see people flip it with the white cabinets and the gray quartz. But either way, looks really good. They use Moen finishes, a standard on this builder here. Nice, lovely window right over the, the tub. I believe the tub actually comes standard. You actually can choose to eliminate it if you'd like. So we've got one closet over here. Let me know what you guys think about this size, honestly. It's not the greatest, the biggest size of closet, but I mean, it's more than enough. And we do have another one over here. So his and her, hers, his and hers, you guys can argue over who gets what. This one here does have some storage up there. So maybe the woman will take this one and she'll put her shoe boxes up in the attic there. My guy, you might have to add a stairs there for the woman, or you might be having to go up there and put her shoes for her. Or, or maybe, maybe your shoes are going up there. <laughs> yeah you guys can fight over that in the comment section but anyways that's the master let me take you guys out here oh you know what this pool reminds me of <laughs> i don't know if you guys remember the bimini model home tour that i did on the channel here but i remember when i did that one i had mentioned that if the video gets a thousand likes that i would uh i would jump in the pool <laughs> same builder actually taylor morrison but yeah so, I don't know. I know I'm supposed to jump in the pool. A lot of you guys have actually been hitting me up saying, hey, when you going to jump in the pool? And I'm like, damn, you guys really want me to jump in this pool, huh? So, I don't know what you think. Should I? Should I jump in the pool? It is kind of warm now. It's 82 degrees right now. It was like 60 degrees yesterday. Now it's 82 degrees. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Florida. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this home here. Once again, we're in Crestview. This is the St. Thomas model. This one here is starting around the mid 300s. Actually, most people are upgrading, probably spending around fifty to sixty thousand dollars, maybe even more. It upgrades. That's around the average that you'll spend in upgrades around here. But it's a lovely neighborhood. We are still in phase one. There's another phase coming, and uh, honestly, this this area right here is developing tremendously. Once that Costco uh, comes over here, hopefully they approve that, and once Olympus gets built over here, honestly, man, Claremont is is very very promising. So I love it over here. I must say. Turnpike is right down the road. You're about seven minutes away from the Turnpike over there, uh, right off of Hancock, the new Mineola exit over there. Actually, there's another Publix they're building right over there. We're gonna have three Publix within 10 minutes. Like, you can choose, actually, there's four Publix. Wow, wow. Honestly, there's no, no such thing of lack of stores over here. Maybe some specialty stores you might need to drive maybe to Winter Garden, Orlando, or some places like that, but slowly they're all coming over here to Claremont. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this home. Let me know if you like this. Remember, if you're thinking about buying a home in Central Florida, my team and I would love to help you guys find the perfect home for, the fair, for a fair price. So feel free to reach out to us. You can find my contact information down below. But until then, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one.